Hello and good early afternoon from beautiful France. Important fact is today is my last day of being 22 on this planet. So during the last day, I need to get a haircut. We need to get a picnic sorted for breakfast starter. Mm. Peanut butter. Mm. <laughs> so we are in the car now. We're going to get my hair cut. Then we're going to get a picnic for tomorrow. Yay! We love picnics. This is the weather outside. But it's fine because tomorrow is going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. This is a before shot. Look at my hair. It looks beautiful, right? And it's going to change like. Ta da! There you go. Hair's all cut now. Yeah! Beautifully. 15 euros. Now we're going back to the house. We're going to make the picnic. And looking forward to Stars and Bars tonight. That's what I'm mainly looking forward to. It's the final night of me being 22. I'm 23, and it's going to be an amazing year of being 23, I do believe. Why is there a cone right there, like in the floor? If any of you can answer that question, you get a big thumbs up from me. Yeah. Which are we in that one? Are we in that one? That one. This one. <gasps> oh, there's me, there's us on camera. So, when you, when you come to Stars and Bars, and you open the menu, you turn it on, and look, you choose your language. I'm English. And then, you look, you get your menu, all your different stuff. I've gone for chicken wings, barbecue sauce ones, and here's the burger. Happy birthday to Happy Chloe has just ordered me a dessert, and as you can see, they all sang happy birthday for me as well, which is just lovely. <laughs> and now we've got a uh, ice cream brownie to share. 12 o'clock! Seven for me! I am 23 now. Oh my god. I'd like to thank my mom, family. I'd like to thank everybody, you know, the hard work of bringing me up. Now that I'm 23, I feel absolutely no different apart from a little bit more bloated. I'm gonna have to dance that off, so we need to go dance. There's the famous corner where the Grand Prix cars go around like that. And that's La Rascas. So we're going home now. We've got a lovely day for tomorrow. Or well, today actually, we've got a lovely day. We have got a lovely day for today. And I've had a, I've had a lovely, birthday. lovely birthday night. <laughs> Stay strong, Daddy! Stay strong! Oh, stay strong! Oh. <laughs> Is this recording still? I need some friends. You should definitely subscribe to my channel. We are we are up in like five hours or something like that. So, good night. See you tomorrow. Do 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 boom. Do 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 do. Seriously, so excited for today. So we're going to Cannes and we're going to a little island, Il San Marguerite. It's where the, the man in the iron mask was held captive there in the prison for a bit as well. That made me very excited when I heard about that. Here's the train. Running again for the train. Ah, ah, ah. Here it is, running, running. That's how we do it. A little bit out of breath, but <coughs> we like to run. It's good for the mind and soul and the body. The present Chloe got me was two extra batteries for my Go Extreme. Welcome to Cannes, because we can. Da -da. As soon as you come out in Cannes. Do, do, do. This is the main shopping street of Cannes. There you go, some more down there. And some more down there. This right here. That's where they do the Cannes Film Festival. All this building, all of this building. When you're walking from the train station, which is a lot cheaper, it's cost us seven euros something each to get here. When you come into Saint Marguerite, you walk from the train station, about a 15, 20 minute walk, you walk around the port. But we're at the boat now, we're just waiting. There's the boat.
the island, just got to say, gorgeous. There's an island in Australia, it's called Rottnest Island on the west coast by Perth, where they have the world's happiest animals called quackers. But this island reminds me of Rottnest Island a bit, really lovely, quite barren, I love it. I love this island, really love it. In my opinion, this island is better than Cairns. If you want them to put quiet beaches and everything, come here. Let's go see where the man in the iron mask is, so that's right. where we're walking up to. Is what the fort looks like. The orange one there, that's where we're starting. And then to uh, the cell where the, the man in the iron mask was kept. When well, everyone has gone that way, and no one, not a single person, has come up this way up the steps to where we are right now. Go somewhere where not many other people are, you get a lovely view of somewhere else. For example, like that. The gym has just reopened, and we are the first ones in. Classic, beautiful design by the Romans. There is no natural source of water on the island, so they'd have to use rainwater. Look at the room anyway, as well. This is where they stored all the water. Oh, it's really nice, really cool. These were found just offshore and back in 1971 in a shipwreck. This is where they found them. There is one, and then just there as well. And then we're just gonna walk all the way around the islands and round and round. And then when it first hit the water, boom, there you go. And then over time, See, and that's a smaller island up there where they've had a monastery, I do believe, since the 9th century on there. So now we're going to see the man in the iron mask. Wow, okay. It's literally just this, and I guess he slept there. This man has spent 11 years of your life here. So um, this, is what you, this is your view from the window. That's it. I can't believe you were here. There you go. There's 60 names to this day right now who they believe the man in the iron mask could be. But now we're going to go and have an explore for the rest of the island. <laughs> it's really nice to see, really cool, really nice bit of history and there's not that many people here either so it's not like a tourist trap. This is the fort wall from the other side though, so that side is the fort. We're on the other side walking around. It's just gorgeous here, seriously I couldn't recommend anyone enough to come here. We give you the tip of the island. Right little hidden gem this place, I love it. And not that many people here at all. This is me and Chloe, so we might see the odd person on the track. But other than that, beautiful. I love it here. Great birthday, really great birthday. This is my favorite island in France, there you go. So yeah, gorgeous place. Just gonna walk back around the island and we'll be back where we started and we're just gonna sit on the beach and chill and eat, because that's what we do best. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to spend my birthday on with this sort of view pretty much all the way, all the way around the island. It's, it's, it's quite awkward, you know? So, uh, <laughs> nah, seriously though, Oh yeah, I absolutely love this island, fantastic birthday and yeah, it's been like a big adventure today and I've loved it, that's what I love doing. If I have to give any advice, 100% come here and just, just come here, it's beautiful, I love it. So we're back at the beach, well I said the beach, now we're back at the sea, um, it's weird, weird. We catch the boat just down there, perfect. so it's perfect. time of the day now where we're leaving but we're walking back to the boat we've got about 10 minutes to get there and by our standards that's a good amount of time we've walked on the whole island today and here's the boat right, we're back in Cannes now we've got about half an hour to get the train to I think it's the most beautiful birthday in terms of where I've been scenery feeling of it and everything just the whole atmosphere everything it's been just awesome <laughs> Me and Chloe watching a movie, we're watching Why Him? Why Him? 
I started calling him dad. Oh, my vey. God, man. Blake. Thank you for joining me on my birthday. I had an amazing chocolate cake made by Chloe. So, mm -hmm. thank you. Really good. Really, really good. Summed up the island, just amazing views, pristine water, really well looked after as well, and great history there as well. And it's not overrun by tourists, so definitely go check it out. See you later.